Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. Today, we're going to be showcasing a new program called Oslo. Uh, this is a editing software similar to Sony Vegas and other editing so companies like that, where you basically can go through and automatically upload and edit your videos with ease. So let's kind of start out and kind of browse around and show you exactly how to set it up. So Basically what you do, you can see that I have a few test runs already made here. Um, you're gonna go to your video editing part. Uh, you can also sign up for free and use it for free. It has a max of 15 gigs used, meaning that you can have up to that much uh, storage. Um, of course, you get more options with um, the professional version. I'm using the demo currently just cause you know, why not? Uh, so we go ahead and we'll click on create new video. So let's just call this one YouTube test and then press create. And then after we do that, it's gonna shoot us over to the window that you would normally see for like uh, your normal Sony Vegas or whatever you might be using. From there, you can either drag files over and upload them, or I've already done that. So I can go ahead and click on add to timeline. You can also double click if I believe, yeah, you can drag and drop it as well. Um, if you wanna just you know do it your way, you can click on the plus sign. After you do so, you can press welcome back press play, and then you can go ahead and see. Now, the bonus about Oslo, in my opinion, is how nice it and, and smooth it runs. Like you can click on- well, We have a date, finally. You can click on play and you can kind of seamlessly see. Now, it does take a few seconds when you go to upload your video to um, your, like, you know, your options here. So obviously, like if I were to pick and choose certain things here, um, it would upload very quick. It does have to process um, that types of videos and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, it does, um, it does look nice uh, when it does get uploaded and it does upload very quickly. Um, and the processing time took me when I uploaded my 100 meg video, I think it took anywhere from maybe 30 to 45 seconds. So it wasn't very long at all. Um, I won't update, I won't upload any of these, but I just wanted to kind of showcase, uh, you know, what it does show you. So I've, as soon as you do that, there'll be a processing time. You wait a few seconds and then you're good to go. Honestly, uh, it takes longer on Sony Vegas for it to sometimes process if I'm doing a very large video. This seemed very quick and, and worked right away. So that being said, now we can go ahead and we can play around with a few different things. We can add multiple different ones to different timelines if you want. You can highlight, press the delete button. You can delete a timeline or delete track. Um, you can also do other things, which I will showcase right now to make your video pop a little bit more. So normally inside of a video, if you find a part that you don't really like, for example, I want to click that, you can split the video. So now we have it in two separate formats. So I can play around with one. I can make this one have different things like a for example, a audio fade in and out if I really wanted to, or I can fade in and out just this part from the beginning. Welcome back, everybody. My and then at the end as well. So you can also play around with the fade effects as well. If you click on your video, uh, you can go down to fade effects. It'll say like duration. So you can you can min minimize that down to let's go like this. I think it goes in seconds. Like I, I don't see any milliseconds options, but you can go one or none, I believe. So if I go like Welcome that, it's a very quick. Industry. And of course, if I want it to be longer than that, uh, you can obviously adjust that accordingly. Um, so that being said, you can also do other things like hue rotations and you can uh, do things uh, like fade out only or just no animations. I don't really mess around too much with animations, but at the end of the day, it is nice to have a quick, like basically just press a button and it's ready to go. The thing I find with other video editing uh, software is that you have to add the effects in there. So you have to add a uh, file, uh, add effects, go through the list, choose the effect, and then you're, that's basically how you kind of make it go in and out for different things and adding filters and whatnot. Whereas this is a click of the button and you're ready to go. You can also change your saturation. So if I want to just only edit this, I could obviously make my, my this specific track part really quiet. And the bonus is that it, buddy, my name is all fun again. If you click on that and I want to make it really quiet, Go over to the next track. Every day on Twitter. It's nice and loud. Okay, so this is a feature that I feel like works very well. Normally, uh, when you are using something like Sony Vegas or something like that, you have to go through and you have to separate it into a, a separate track and minimi minimize that audio. And it just does it all by just selecting. Uh, you can obviously change the hue for, you know, if you really want to get crazy and change around some brightness settings, if you think that you're too bright in the video or whatnot. Um, you can also increase the speed of it. 
the size, um, all sorts of different things. Uh, next step, you can also add transitions. So you can obviously, if you wanted to like fade in and out and stuff like that as well. Um, and you can also add text to your video. So adding text to your video is very simple. For example, at the very beginning, say at the, just, at, just at the start, I wanted to add text that said, um, something special here. And I wanted to say, you can either write on the screen here, or I believe you can go, so no, I guess I do have to edit it on, on the very, very, where's it at? Did I add the text there? I might've missed it. Oops. Go back here and try to edit this. See, I'm still playing around a little bit with it. So I'm still trying to learn a little bit. Um, oops, I know exactly what I did there. So I just got to choose a different one. Let's delete this one. And I can go like this and call start, start of the video. And here we go. So now this will showcase at the start of my video. And if I only wanted to play right here, so we go like this. Welcome back everybody. My name is all fun and games. I stream and now it leaves and it's no longer there. So this is a really cool and easy way to add text to your video. Um, I actually really like this a lot because generally speaking, whenever I am trying to add text um, in other programs, it's not hard to do. It's just very tedious. And this is a click the button and it's done. Not only that, you can extend it really easy or you can place things really, really nice um, within you know, whichever part you video video on. So if you want to start at the middle or whatever, you can do that. Now, also, you can add fade in and fade out options. Well, we so you can be like, okay, hey, there it is, uh, and there it's gone. That so that way, it's a nice little flash event. Uh, you can edit um, and add quite a bit of different types of uh, fonts as well. Now, keep in mind, uh, I'm well, assuming we more options will be available with the paid copy. So meaning if you were to get the premium copy of Oslo, you might have more options. Uh, but that being said, this is what I had limited to myself as well. Uh, you can also change rotations. So if you want it to be sideways or you want it to be featured on a specific part, I think that's really cool because you can kind of just go like this, make it look nice and neat. Um, and yeah, and then you can obviously add filters. So uh, you can go through and say, okay, I want this part of my video to have a black and white filter. And then eventually I want it to, you know, have this or that or, or whatnot. Now uh, you can also do that in your settings menu where you adjust the contrast, opacity, like stuff like that. So if I wanted to make this part of the video, you know, kind of showcase a little bit less behind and I wanted to add like a picture in front, I could do that. So for example, if at one point of my video, I wanted to add, Let's go ahead and add one of my pictures. So let's just upload a photo. And as you can see, it says processing, takes a few seconds and there. So that's how quick it is to, to add something. Okay, so now I'm gonna add this photo. So I'm gonna add this photo here. And now this photo is on top of my timeline. So obviously I wanna move it down. I want it to be below, right? So we're gonna move this photo. Uh, I believe if I go to, I wanna move it down more so that way it's kind of overlapping so if i click on this it's going to showcase there right Maybe. and then it's going to take over so i want it to be below so now we're going to go like this little videos here so now it's there so but if i click on here and i say okay you know what i want to make the opacity a little bit more and i'm now going to play the video every day on twitch tv so you can kind of see the video in the very back of it and every day on twitch tv and also just like that so it is an interesting effect to have now keep in mind it's not this is this is just showcasing every day on what twitch you tv and also do fun little videos what you could potentially do with twitch your video TV and also do fun little videos here now i wouldn't really recommend doing that but you know it is different things that you can play around with so obviously every day on twitch you can TV go like that and, and put it on top of your here. layer and just things to play around with and honestly it's really neat to be able to just add that really quickly play around with the opacity you can also uh change the the picture like saturation and all that cool other things so it just lots of different features that you can just add in to Maybe make it look Twitch more TV. more interesting at the end of the day i mean i i like different effects i like adding different things so it is nice to just you know play around as much as you can to make uh, your video pop Maybe out a little TV bit more and i also do fun little videos here on YouTube. okay so if we move on to the next and last thing you can add comments to your video so basically if you're going inside of a part of your video and you said okay look I want to put a comment that says, please edit this out. OMG. And then you could go ahead and you can put that inside of there. So if I go over this part and I go to comments, I don't see anything. But if I click here and I go to comments, I think it was right here that I commented on it. I don't know exactly know where it was. 
Uh, but part of your video will show up um, and you, you'll actually be able to see different edits and stuff like that. So I can go here, like, let's try it again. So uh, OMG, and then I press send. Okay, so now when I click on this part and I go to comments, you can see every day on Twitch TV. Uh, you can see that at 6.40, I wrote down, oh my God. And then, you know, basically at that point, you would have, uh, you can go back and edit that part or you can, you know, do whatever you like. So for example, if so if you're trying to edit your video and you want to say, look, uh, who's ever editing this video, please add in a picture of me smiling. I, I'm making a frowny face. You can add that in. The person could then put, put resolve and you know now that that has been since resolved. It's really crucial to put comments on your videos, especially if you're editing them, because you never know if you're ever gonna have to go back and do it. And now if you can just simply add a comment in there, it's very, very good to do this. So sometimes I'll make a video and I'll be like, okay, I wanna remember that at this specific moment, um, I want to like flip the screen around or I want to uh, put a focus on my face or I wanna focus in on you know something that I'm trying to showcase on camera. Well, I won't remember that, so I have to make a sticky note on my computer. Well, you can just do this all in here. Now keep in mind, premium could offer a different feature as well. Um, and like I said, more fonts and all that other stuff. But obviously at that point, I don't have premium. So that possibly could be another video in the future. I just want to showcase how it looks for the demo for available for everyone. The last and final feature, which I think is probably one of the best, best options to have in something like this is the options to chat directly to support. So as soon as you click here, uh, you can type in whatever you'd like and you will receive response from an actual live chat. So of course on the weekends and certain days you won't have availability, but you could talk directly to support. Hi, I'm having issues doing something in Oslo. I would really appreciate um, some, some input. I would like to know how to add text or I would like to know how to make the text color change or something like that. You can get live support just by clicking on that. And I think that is awesome. I haven't test ran it yet because I didn't obviously want to do it, but um, I would expect their response to be very, very quick. This is a new software that just came out. Um, the website runs amazing. I've not ran into any issues. It loads very fast. The video speed. A date finally. Um, and that is for the sunken sea. As you can see, it runs very well too. And I mean, this is all taken away from your hardware on your PC and putting it on directly on the web, meaning that your computer doesn't have to do any of the processing. Another final feature that you can do at the very end is click export and it'll say publish to YouTube when exported. And that is the final part of this whole situation. Meaning at the end of all this editing, at the end of all this stuff, you just do a simple export directly to YouTube. And that is actually probably one of the like the little cherries on top of the cake, because in the end, that makes it so much easier to just click a button and have it right then and there go straight to your YouTube channel. So yeah, that is Oslo. Go ahead and check it out. Um, I'll put a link in the description where you can find it. It's free to use. I would suggest trying it out and see if you enjoy it. And then, like I said, if you do enjoy it, feel free to use a premium. I don't have a um, I don't have a. Um, ambassador code or anything like that for Oslo just yet. But if I do in the future, I'll make sure to attach it down below. I think it's a cool program. I'm definitely going to start using it. I don't really see any reason for me to really keep uh, Sony Vegas around anymore because when I export this file, I've already tested it and it exports really well and it looks nice. And it's kind of just as if I'm exporting the same file that I uploaded. So I'm not using it. I'm not losing any quality, which is a big thing for me. Uh, what I find with with Sony Vegas is when I upload, I lose a lot of quality. So yeah, and of course, if you want the higher uh, FPS rate instead of 30, you most likely pay for premium and you get the 60 FPS. So that's kind of a way that they, you know, they try to encourage you purchasing the software. Um, I haven't had a chance to kind of see the, the free versus, um, premium to kind of go over that. Uh, but if I do end up finding that, I will try to showcase that in my next video that I make uh, where I showcase obviously the premium edition. So go out there, check it out. Enjoy. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. And I will hope to see you in the next video. Good luck editing out there. Thanks again for watching.